figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by highlighting it and pressing the interact button. The interact button uses items in the world. The key on the desk opens encryption based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. equipment during these exercises. Press the inventory button at any time to access your gear. Press the mission button to view your current goals and progress notes. On a typical mission, a Yanatko agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking it takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and re Remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. The code that unlocks the keypad next to the door has been stored in that data cube. Highlight the data cube and press the interact button to read its content. Once you have a code, you will be able to open the door by selecting the keypad and pressing the interact button. Disposable multi tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi tool resources to hack a given device. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered conscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and then find the exit on the other side. Press the augmentation button, then select the light and activate it. Enough of a machine to need repair. Welcome to the combat training area. I am Gunther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Your aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. 
Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. This is a rifle range. Here you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Excellent. Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Good work. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. This is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamp. Lamps placed on the walls are proximity triggered. This time you will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolition training. I just like to kid around. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall you can also breach with a lamp. Why is that now? Next you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamb down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. At each 
of the corners of this area, you will find a lamb planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lambs before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamb quickly and defuse it. A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lambs will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. I saw somebody.
Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. for every repair manual they've made me file in my office in the med lab. The Coalition's new nano-augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Sufficiently impressive, an early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. 